welcome back to a new video guys i know this looks weird like i'm never really on my computer or like doing anything like this but today we're going to be doing a tier list for the best dressed underground rappers if you guys like streetwear or fashion or underground rap content make sure to hit the like subscribe and comment down below who you think the best dressed underground rapper is right now and let's get into the video hey cj where you at Okay, so how I'm doing this is I have all these artists in Photoshop and we're just gonna look in Photoshop look at their outfits and then put them on the tier list So the first one we have is Killy if you guys don't know Killy He had that song blow up on YouTube Kilimanjaro But um, the reason why I put him on here is because he's fire. He's fire as fuck, bro He he's in that Gore-Tex wave. He's a uh, Look at him all fitted up, bro. He's he's the Arcteryx demon. He has like fucking 9,000 Arcteryx jackets, it seems like. But I think he was a big contributor to this Arcteryx trend that you see on TikTok. Um, I honestly really like his Gore-Tex fits, and I'm excited to see what he has for summer. So I'm gonna give I'm gonna give Killy an A tier. Killy an A. I think Killy is good dress. He's a good dress guy. We have Ken Carson. I know. There's gonna be so many people out here that in the comments that like love Ken Carson, bro. I think Ken Carson's good, but bro, what what does he have on his feet? The thing is, I think Ken Carson can really dress, and he should be able to because he's on opium, as you guys know. Like he should be able to dress. He's in Cardi's label. But um, I don't know, man. I like I think his old fits are way better than his new fits. I think bros get getting a check and just spending it on some lame ass drip. His style is really like archive based, just like Cardi and Destroy Lonely, who's also in this list. I'm gonna give I'm gonna give Ken a B tier because I know he has fits and he can pull off outfits, but I just haven't been seeing it lately. Ken, a B tier. So next we have Cash Dami. I know y'all be hating on him right now. It's like a trend to hate on Cash Dami. Um, personally, I love Cash Dami because he like shows love hella to my clothing brand, posts in it all the time. He's a cool and genuine dude. Um, I think his fits on the other hand are like kind of mid. You know, like, I'm not, and I'm not saying that's, like, a bad thing. I just think they're, like, really basic, and he really doesn't have, like, a unique style. I think Cash Dami's style is just, like, a lot of other people's. He's just got that BB belt, some baggy pants, and some designer shoes, or maybe he'll switch it up and wear an underground brand, which is the reason why I fuck with him, because he wears a lot of underground brands. I'm gonna give Cash Dami C tier. Let's go ahead and give Dami the C. Next we have Yeet. Bro, oh my gosh. I know so many of y'all are gonna be mad at me for this. Um, I think Yeet's fits are just shit, bro. Like, I, don't get me wrong, I fuck with his music. I think his music is really good, but I think his outfits are shit, bro. It's literally just designer down like every other rapper. There's like no creativity. Um, it's just skin tight jeans with some Balenciagas, a Louis Vuitton belt, and a Balenciaga coat. Like, there's no... Like, yeah, you could call it drip or whatever you want, bro. But I, I honestly don't think, like, Yeet is into style like that, though. So I don't really think this is disrespectful to him. Sorry, I have to give Yeet the D, bro. That sounds re that sounded really sus. Hold on, pause. Yeah, no, Yeet's in D. Sorry, had to do it. I just don't see anything cool with his fits or anything. So, sorry. Next, we have DC the Don. I think DC the Don has a really cool style these ricks are actually really sick um but dc dresses in a lot of underground um clothing too he wears like ramones religiously which like pretty much everyone's doing now i'm not hating but i think dc has like an okay style i'll give him a b because he has some cool fits he has some lousy fits you know it's all it's whatever so that's dc Next, we have Young Chris. If you guys know Young Chris, he's like blowing up in the underground. He's like in that Cash Dami, Baby Santana wave. Um, I feel like Chris's style is just the same as Dami's. It's it's those really shiny BB belts, you know, with just some regular pants. This fit isn't bad, but like, bro, why are you wearing a Panther shirt? Shout out Young Chris, though. I've been talking to him about like my brand and shit. He's a cool, genuine dude, but I just don't think his style is anything special. I'm gonna give young Chris a, a, 
I'm gonna give Young Chris a C. Lil Nar. I know a lot of you guys know Lil Nar. Lil Nar is hard as fuck, dude. Um, I actually really like this fit. It's kind of goofy, I know, but like I like the color coordination and how that Louis V matches these these pants. I think these are gallery department. <laughs> Sorry, Rob, you're gonna have to cut that. I just almost died from a nicotine pouch, dude. All right, hold on, Rob. Fuck, bear with, bear with me. Oh, holy shit. All right, so next on this list, we got Lil Nar. I know a lot of you guys know who Lil Nar is. He's done songs with, of course, Landon. Landon's the fucking boy. He's done songs with Skies. I think Lil Nar has a really cool style. Um, this fit in particular is okay. I, I think these are gallery department flared pants. Looks like he's got the Tims on. Look, Louis Vuitton with just a plain white tee. You know, he got his gun in the air, flexing some money. I think Lil Nar has a good style, though, and I respect him for owning a street streetwear brand in his like rap career. I'm going to give Lil Nar a B because I have seen some good outfits from him. It's kind of hard to ex explain his style. He's into like designer shit all the time, but he also has that streetwear and archive vibe to him. You know, he's, he just doesn't have one thing. <laughs> So we're gonna put Lil Nar in the B. So Fago. Um, it's kind of hard to judge So Fago's fits because he's very discreet about his image. Like we don't know a lot, a lot about his image. I think this is a full Prada fit right here though, and I actually think it looks really good on him. I'm gonna give So Fago an A tier because of if you guys don't remember, if you guys rem remember, if you guys remember um, the off the map music video. He he had a really good outfit in that video, and I think that video was a, a fire as fuck, just the video and the song, but I'm gonna give him an A based off that outfit in that video. So, A for Sofago because the off the map fit was really hard, and I have seen him in some good outfits before. We got a controversial name in fashion, Lancey Foe. People say that Lancey inspired Cardi, and it is vamp, vamp phase or whatever. People said Lancey did it first. I don't know. I think Lancey does have really good outfits. He's the UK Cardi, bro. There's like no, no, no doubt in that at all. But I think Lancey deserves an S tier just because of the fact that he's been doing this for a long time and not hopping on this wave like a, a lot of other artists. I'm not saying Cardi is, but there's a lot of other artists that are trying to dress like vamps now, like Cardi. But I think Lancey started it. But Lancey's in that art archive fashion and really dark fashion i guess you could say i don't know i think lancey deserves an s so we're we're gonna give lancey an s we have ty fontaine bro i think ty fontaine's fits are hard but bro needs to put the dogs away what are you doing man but he's got the capital trucker the capital uh bandana long sleeve i love this long sleeve i think ty easily gets an s just because he's so hip to like underground fashion i don't know i've seen him in a lot of like cool shit like hysteric glamour capital some really rare rick pieces and he also talks about rick and and capital and all these things in his rap so he's really about it and i think he doesn't even have a stylist either he just does this shit himself so i'm giving ty fontaine an S. We got Uno the Activist. If you guys don't know Uno the Activist, he's been an OG in SoundCloud for a really long time. Him and, him and Cardi used to be really good friends and Bloody O shot at Uno and Cardi didn't say nothing about it. So they don't fuck with each other anymore, but I think they might now. And what's weird is I know Uno fucks with D Savage now, which is kind of weird because they used to have a lot of beef. But um, I also really like Uno's fits. He's just all over the place. He really doesn't even have one specific style. Um, he wears a lot of archive. He wears streetwear. He wears, bro, he wears so much shit. I think Uno deserves an A. I think he has some really cool outfits and then some really mid outfits, but I don't know. I think he deserves an A. Destroy Lonely. If you guys don't know who Destroy Lonely is, he's signed an opium with Ken Carson under Cardi. So we expect these dudes to have good outfits, right? And I think Destroy Lonely shits on Ken with his outfits. I'm just being honest. I think Destroy Lonely, Destroy Lonely is literally archive only. That's like what he is, bro. He's in that Margella, that Rick. He's in all that shit. I'm gonna have to give Destroy Lonely an S tier. Yeet all the way at the bottom. I'm sorry, Yeet fans. Um, I, his outfits just don't do it for me. 
we got Young Chris and Cash Dami in the C tier. I think their outfits are just calm. They don't really care that much about style. They're just dressing, you know, doing whatever. Then we got B, Ken Carson. You know, I expect him to dress better for being under opium and his outfits lately have been mid, but I've seen some good Ken Carson outfits in the past. So maybe that'll change. Then we got DC the Don um, in B as well. DC has some cool fits, but then he just has some mediocre fits. So he's in B. We got Lil Nar in B. Um, honestly, just the same, bro. Mediocre fits. There, some of them are cool, but the mediocre fits weigh out the cool fits. And A, we got Killy. I think he deserves it. He started the Gore-Tex trend 100%, and I'm excited to see how he dresses for summer. We got Sofago in A. I also think um, he has some good outfits, and he's discreet, so we don't know much, but... If he signed under Travis's label, you know he's bound to have good fits and good style. And we got Uno the Activist in A. I think Uno deserves it because he started a lot of trends as well, and he's always had a pretty good style sense. And S, we got Lancey Foe, 100% deserves it. People say that he inspired Cardi. We don't know if it's true or not, but it could be. We got Ty Fontaine in S. If you guys don't know Ty, I love his music, bro. And I've actually met him a couple of times. He's a really cool dude, but I think Ty deserves it. He's just hip to everything and doesn't even have a stylist. So, and the last one in S, we got Destroy Lonely, also the Opium member. And I think he deserves it 100%. But um, let me know if you guys liked this video. I'm going to be doing more videos like this, but um, this is very experimental. So let me know what I could work on, what I could change, and what you guys want to see next. Um, if you guys want a part two, let me know, but um, leave a like, subscribe, um, make sure you guys hit the bell so you know when I upload, and comment down below who you think is the best dressed in the underground, and comment down below who I missed, because I know I missed a lot of people, but then again, I was just trying to keep this video short, so I appreciate you guys for tuning in, and I'll see you guys later.